The FEV1 to FEC ratio is a key measurement in pulmonary function testing used to diagnose and monitor obstructive and restrictive lung diseases. This ratio represents the proportion of an individual's vital capacity that they are able to exhale in the first second of forced expiration. We created this video to cover the medical definition and provide a brief overview of this topic. So if you're ready, let's get into it. Forced vital capacity or FEC refers to the maximum volume of air a person can forcibly exhale after a full inhalation. This measure provides a comprehensive assessment of pulmonary capacity, including both large and small airways. On the other hand, forced expiratory volume in one second or FVV1 measures the amount of air a person can forcefully exhale in just one second after taking a deep breath. This value is more reflective of the function of the large airways. The FEV1 to FEC ratio is calculated by dividing the FEV1 value by the FEC value. It is usually represented as a percentage and the normal range typically lies between 70 and 80% in adults, though it can vary slightly based on factors like age, sex, ethnicity, and height. If a person's FEV1 to FEC ratio is lower than the normal reference range, it may indicate the presence of an obstructive lung disease such as asthma or COPD. This is because these diseases cause airway obstruction, leading to a reduction in the volume of air that can be expelled in the first second of forced expiration, thereby reducing the FEV1 to FEC ratio. Conversely, in restrictive lung diseases like pulmonary fibrosis or sarcoidosis, both FEV1 and FVC may be reduced, but the ratio often remains normal or even increases. This is due to the fact that in restrictive diseases, the lungs are often stiff or smaller, leading to a decrease in total lung capacity. But the airways aren't necessarily obstructed, allowing the FEV1 to FVC ratio to remain within the normal range. It's important to note that the FEV1 to FVC ratio is just one measure in pulmonary function testing. While it is valuable, it does not provide a full picture of lung health on its own. Other tests and measures, such as total lung capacity, residual volume, and diffusing capacity of the lungs for carbon monoxide are often used in conjunction with the FEV1 to FVC ratio to provide a comprehensive view of lung function. Furthermore, any abnormal results should be interpreted in conjunction with clinical history and examination findings for accurate diagnosis and management. But as you can see, the FEV1 to FVC ratio is a crucial clinical tool in the diagnosis and monitoring of lung diseases. Its usefulness lies not only in its ability to help differentiate between obstructive and restrictive lung diseases, but also in the role it plays in the broader context of comprehensive pulmonary function testing. If you want to support the channel, please like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And there should be some other helpful videos popping up on your screen right about now that I think you will enjoy. And just a quick reminder, we are not doctors. This video is for informational purposes only. Thank you so much for watching, have a blessed day, and as always, breathe easy my friend.